quiet hot pickup this is right quiet hot welcome on board everyone tonight i'm going to review this beautiful beautiful 2008 gibson les paul standard plus <laughs> this is a plus model because it has this beautiful beautiful top on it well first of all thank you very much for the lot of lot of positive comments and messages and emails and subscriptions and likes for my video what i posted yesterday about the 60 about the 60s anniversary gibson les paul unboxing yeah so it was great reading the messages and your comments today morning thanks a lot it, that video is, has been viewed more than about i don't know thousand times or even more in just less than 24 hours or something so yeah great so i decided from now on i'm going to launch this new series well where i where i just where i talk about all these all the guitars i've got here uh, for years and years i just uploaded little two three minutes videos about just playing on the guitars and things like that but uh yeah that i think from now on i'm going to talk about them as well and uh, let you know everything what i know about the about the certain models what i've what i got here so the first episode tonight and oh sorry just one more important thing yeah uh in this series i think i i won't drink whiskey sorry i, I drank too much whiskey yesterday <laughs> When I was shooting the unboxing video, maybe I was too excited or something, but you know, I, I drank quite a lot of whiskey, so quite a lot of whiskey. So, in this series, I'm going to drink cappuccino or tea or something, you know. Tonight, I'm drinking this beautiful, beautiful Carraro espresso cappuccino, or I don't know what is it, but yeah. So, tonight 2008 gibson les paul standard plus well first of all first of all this is not a mint guitar no not at all this is now 12 years old and it's been played so when people spend about two grand on a tom murphy aged i mean fakely aged Let's be honest, fakely aged because a guy, Mr. Tom Murphy, gets a brand new Gibson and then beats it up and things like that, makes it looks old, and people are willing to pay more than two grand for that job. I don't know. I prefer these sort of things, right? This is a genuine, honest, aged by life, aged by Mr. Life, <laughs> for free. <laughs> yeah. So this was, this is a. 2008 model 12 years old and aged by mr life means that it's got a few little scratches few little marks few little things nothing serious i mean even on the back you can see how many little little, little i don't know not even buckle rush because buckle rush is much deeper and things like that nothing got through the body here so it's been used maybe t-shirt buttons closer a few little indentations but nothing nothing serious the neck is ultra clean there's there's nothing on the neck i can't see any which is quite important uh, frets are absolutely 100 percent nothing gone i think all their life is back it's a beautiful guitar, I like it. I like this very, very, very unique, unique top on this. So I can see the point why it was like a Les Paul Standard Plus. Uh, <clears throat> now let's let's go through real details, right? What, what do we know about the 2008 Les Paul Standard Plus? First of all, let's start with the body. It's got a, a nice and light chambered body. Oh my God, it's chambered. Oh. I think before this subject, let's let's drink a bit of coffee. Maybe it helps me. Because I'm kind of oh, I'm very upset when people start start uh, 
reducing the quality of the guitar because it's chambered or non-chambered why why would it be worse i mean seriously it's it's a less for standard so if you want a 50s less fall that is that looks sounds plays and weights exactly the same as the 50s let's suppose by a less for traditional or by a historic if you can afford it as for standard is a modern guitar and they chambered it so when they chamber it it's it's like <coughs> having a bit of es335 character which is nothing wrong with it obviously es335s are probably the most versatile guitars on the market and i haven't read any comments from someone that oh my es335 is chambered <laughs> It's a semi hollow guitar and sounds fucking amazing, right? So when they add that quality to this guitar, that won't cause any problems. I mean, it won't lose any any quality. The sustain is exactly the same, or even maybe in certain cases longer, because the the guitar body has some acoustic chambers, right? It has that tiny bit of semi hollow ish sound but guys just enjoy it i mean seriously don't be too critical on these sort of new modern era things i think nothing wrong with it when the best luthiers on the market obviously probably who work for, for a company like gibson they are quite good luthiers or maybe not the best one but probably a few of the best ones they come up with an idea how to make a guitar lighter and but keep the quality of the sound or giving a modern twist on the old school Les Paul sound. And I think this guitar sounds really good. Did you did you hear anything any any bad thing, any bad notes or any uh, horrible sounding notes in the in the intro? Obviously not, because the guitar is great. So chambered body. Uh Tone Pro hardware, probably this was the first year. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, let me know on, in the comment section but probably this was the first year when Gibson used these Tone Pro hardwares right with the with the locking uh, screws so you can you, you, you can fix the stop tail piece parts stop tail piece parts and they won't fall over when you take all the strings off Burst Bucker Pro 1 Burst Bucker Pro 2 the bridge and i think did, did you hear it the, the bridge sounds very fucking punch i like that have a listen have a listen again <laughs> fucking great nothing wrong with it yeah very punchy powerful modern rock sounding pickups these are if you prefer the old school lower output vintage pickups go for the classic 57s or go for the uh, custom buckers and the historics so this is a nice and modern punchy sounding bridge pickup nothing wrong with it i, I quite like it i mean it, so when i when i test the pickup have a have a listen so it, this is the bridge pickup so it has I'm looking for a lot of bass because obviously it, it's near to the bridge so it picks up a lot of top end and high frequencies and a lot of presence and things like that but when when it, it can sound nice and jazzy and warm with the bridge pickup that that means that it's a very good quality and I think this can do it have a listen what do you think bridge pickup it sounds really good volume on max so if, if, if I turn the tone, tone down a bit
and so on and so on. So the bridge pickup sounds nice and it can sound very nice and warm and can sound very punchy and overdriven. I like that. So that's a very high quality. Neck pickup, same thing, wide open everything. <laughs> Sounds beautiful, guys. I like it. I like it so much. This was the first year when Gibson used asymmetrical neck shape, but it means so the on the lower lower side of the neck when when you do the bendings so this this side of the neck is more like a, a, a C shape while on the on the top when, when you play the uh, the bass lines is more like a D shape, and it's quite cool. I don't don't feel anything bad. I mean, it plays it plays really well. So see where my thumb is. So this this section of the neck is a bit chunkier, while this one here is a bit thinner like a Ibanez guitar, so it, it, it helps to play faster and things like that. So yeah, quite cool, quite modern take on it. But overall, these are just tiny little millimeters, so you don't feel it, it's not nothing radical or anything. Yeah, then, <coughs> so that, that's the next, another important thing, uh, these guitars, the, the frets were plagued, plagued it's called, uh, it, this, it had this sticker on it, it's called, you can see it was here on the bridge pickup, plagued means they use a machine that uh, levels the frets, so all the frets are leveled by, I don't know, like a CNC machine or something, computerized thing, so uh, means that none of the frets are sticking out a bit more than any other so you can lower the action and it won't buzz probably but this is my favorite thing the, I like these I like these tunings tuning keys uh, yeah great great mini grower mini I don't know locker thingies but very good because you don't have to wind the strings or anything just release if you got a string breakage on, on on stage or anything, you just release this little screw here. You just release it here, take the string out, put the other string, <coughs> tighten it, tune it up and it's done. So <coughs> yeah, it makes much, much faster than the old school vintage one that you have to wind or anything. Yeah, very, very cool. So Tone Pros, Burstbucker 2, Burstbucker 1, I think Burstbucker Two Burstbucker one, uh, something no Burstbucker Pro two Burstbucker Pro one or something like that. Uh, yeah, Grover <coughs> on it, a symmetrical neck shape and the, the fatness of the neck is interesting as well because it's not the sixties slim taper. It's the it's the fifth, more like the fifty nine, which is a bit a bit chunkier than the sixties slim taper. Obviously not as chunky as the 58 or the 57. So it's it's very nice. I like this neck shape, nothing wrong with it. It's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. So plagued, Bruce Bucker, pickups, tone pros. 
Yeah, it doesn't have any of the push pulls or anything. It's not this here. Probably that those appeared on these guitars later. Chambered body, very nice lightweight. So if you have the light Les Paul standard, then this one is good for you. So yeah, it's a nice guitar. I like it. 2008. Have a look at my website, guys. I'm going to shoot some. HD uh, photos, some very nice high quality photos from uh, uh, about all the details on it. Uh, you can see all the little marks. I don't hide anything. Why would I do that? That doesn't make any sense to me. This is just aged age by life Gibson Les Paul standard, 12 years old. Uh, so if you if you're not after a brand new fancy looking Les Paul, then but and if you don't mind a few little marks and a bit of history on the like proper not the genuine I mean proper history not fake history done by Mr. Murphy or someone at Gibson so if you want proper guitar with history a few marks here and there there's nothing wrong with it this is a very good playing I suppose standard let's play play on it again have a listen so <laughs> set it up as a, a, a so the action is nice and low perfect intonation uh, I checked the balance between the two pickups and it was quite all right I had to increase the bridge pickup a bit have a listen and it's kind of the same now so if you're interested in this beauty check my website please read the description on everything and send me an email the usual way or find me on Facebook, Instagram, drop me a call, rollisguitars.co.uk, it's not that complicated, right? Whoever takes this guitar home, I think we'll be very happy with it because it's just a nice Les Paul standard and if you after a guitar like this, I think you can make your research, read whatever you want, never read forums, never read comments, nothing like that, but... <laughs> Believe me, these are very good guitars. Peace and love. And don't forget it, I want to drink whiskey. I'm going to drink the whiskey. I leave the whiskey for the unboxing videos and things like that. Just drink this nice cappuccino. Have a nice one, guys. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.